Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the rest of my Lawn Fawn haul from the Fall Winter 2020 new release. So I already showed you guys a couple of things that I had gotten early because they were sent to me for being on the Lawn Fanatics design team. And those were um, Let's Go Nuts, Den Sweet Den, Acorn House, the Stitch Dens, and also the new Into the Woods Remix Pattern Paper Pad. So I've already shared one card that's on my channel right here. Um, this one went up on Monday using the Let's Go Nuts Squirrels, which I am so in love with. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I'll link it in the cards right there so you can check that out. Um, but the rest of my order came on Friday evening, actually. My mail comes late in the day, like 4 p.m. or something. Um, so it was supposed to come Saturday, but it came Friday, so I was really happy. But I had such a busy weekend with work and celebrating my dad's and my birthdays. My dad's was Monday and mine is Wednesday this week. Um, so we had a birthday celebration on Sunday and then I worked Monday, so today is Tuesday. So I'm finally being able to film this for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this on Wednesday or on Thursday because I already have a video for Sunny Studio on Wednesday and um, it just messes with the algorithm when I post two videos on one day. You would think it would be beneficial, but it actually isn't. Um, because instead of like having more views on my channel, what happens is um, people end up picking and choosing which video they're going to watch, and then it splits my numbers, so my numbers are both lower for the videos and it ends up just screwing everything. Um, and I'm already gonna have two videos on Friday because that just worked out that way, that it was my day for Lawn Fanatics and it's also my day on the Lawn Fawn blog. So I'm gonna have two Lawn Fawn cards on Friday. Um, so if you guys have extra time to watch both of the videos, that would be amazing. It would really help me out, but I know not everybody has time to watch two videos in one day, but um, the one is going to be using Acorn House, and the other one is going to be using Den Sweet Den. So just a little bit of enticement there if you guys are excited to see um, those products in use. Um, you can definitely uh, make yourself a cup of coffee Friday morning and plan to spend a little extra time with me if you've got it. But anyway, so let's get into the haul. Enough chit-chat, right? So... Um, the first thing I wanted to share with you guys was because this is my birthday month, um, I was finally able to get the birthday stamp set. So just in case you're not aware, Lawn Fawn has a special stamp set. It's a little mini that they do every year and you can get it during your birthday month. Um, if you sign on to the Lawn Fawn um, website and you've got an account with them you've got to have an account I believe for it to so they know when your birthday is um, it'll just say it right at the top of the screen you know like happy birthday sorry about that my oldest son called me and uh, I just I've started this video over like three times so I'm not gonna start over but anyway if you are um, if you have an account on the lawn fawn website and um, you sign on during your birthday month there will be a um, banner up at the top that says you just have to um, I think you just have to make a purchase I don't even think you have to enter a code but I don't know it'll tell you what to do at the top so anyway this one is called party kangaroo and it has this adorable little kangaroo with her baby and the baby's got a little party hat and then there's a party hat extra for mama and then you get the sentiment that says hop hop hooray and then also during um anytime you place an order they send you a little freebie stamp set so this one they sent me was happy birthday to rue which it goes perfectly with the little kangaroo stamp set so i thought that was really cute um, I also picked up two more of the mini sets from the release. I got the um, Winter Dragon. So this is their typical winter mini. They always have one critter um, that's called like Winter Bunny, Winter Fox, Winter Alpaca. 
um, winter unicorn. I can't remember all of them, but anyway, there's always a little mini winter set for um, the winter release. So this is the one for this year, and I thought he was super cute. So I went ahead and grabbed him and the matching dies. And then I also got the big acorn, just because I thought that would make some really cute cards with the Let's Go Nuts stamp set. That it would be fun to just incorporate that really big um, acorn into the scenes with those little squirrels. I also got one of the half sets, and it was the car critters. So I already have the, sorry, this is card critters Christmas add-on. Um, I already have the car critters, and I've made a card with that. Um, I can try to link that right here as well. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a holiday version. So you can add the little Christmas tree to the car or the gifts. There's a wreath. There's some little antlers. There's a snow drift. And then you've got all these cute little reindeers and one little polar bear. Um, well, he could be any kind of bear, I guess. And then some really fun little sentiments. And you also get like the little tiny ones that go in the license plate. So that looks really fun to use. Okay, so I got um, the A Creature Was Stirring stamp set, which is super adorable with these cute little mice that are baking in the kitchen. Um, and there's like a gingerbread house, a little gingerbread man, and a gingerbread mouse. So cute. Um, I love the little cake. And there's just all different fun things. You could make some really cool little scenes with those guys. And I really love the Lawn Fawn Mice anyway. So i um, really excited to play with that one for Christmas as well. And then I got one more stamp set. And it was the Over the Mountain Borders. So I really have been loving all the background scene stamps that companies have been doing in the last year. So I'm glad that Lawn Fawn also jumped on that bandwagon and um, created this fun one for you. There are three different hill, um, hillsides. So there's the one with the trees, and then there's a different one with the trees right here, and then there's the one with the mountains. So you can use them individually or you can layer them up. And then you, this is separate right here. There's a little reindeer and a sleigh and the little string that's pulling it. Um, those are separate images there. Um, and then there are the matching dies. So you can cut out the whole scene at once, which I think is just super fun. And then I got two more of the die sets. There were so many good things this release. And there were other things that I would have liked, but you know, I have a budget and I had to stick to it. I mean, it does help. Um, you know, Lawn Fawn does give all of the Lawn Finax design team um, gift cards um, for the work that we do in supporting them and, um, you know, inspiring everybody with our creations. So, you know, that definitely helps offset some of the costs, but I did spend some of my own money as well. Um, but anyway, Maybe down the road I'll be able to get a few more of the other items, but for now I think this is good. So I got the Magic Iris Snow Globe add-on. I've been having so much fun with that Magic Iris die. Um, I know some people struggle with it. I don't at all. I've never had a problem. Every card that I've tried to make just works beautifully. Um, and I'm somebody that's intimidated by interactive cards. I just... They stress me out. I don't enjoy making them. I'm always afraid they're not going to work. And it's so much effort. And then you don't know until almost the end if it's going to work or not. But the Magic Iris works great for me. So I thought I would add the snow globe to my collection. Because um, I just think it'd be really fun. I actually gave my dad that card that I made for him. Um... It was the one where I talked about the corn dogs, the one with the moose and the camera with the magic iris. I gave that to him on Sunday at dinner and it got passed around the table and everybody was just like exclaiming over it. They couldn't believe um, 
they were just like, this is so cool. I can't freaking believe you did this. Now, of course, they don't understand how card making works and dies and all of those things that make it easier. But it was still fun to kind of see everybody kind of exclaim over it and play with it and stuff like that. So um, I thought it would be fun to have this one as well. And then the last die that I got was the Lift the Tree, Lift the Flap Tree Backdrop. So this one cuts out those three trees in a frame and then the little knot holes open up like a little window so you can hide the critters behind. You could also like snip the trees out if you wanted to use them individually. Um, but I absolutely love, this was the die I was most excited about. So um, really excited to play with that. And then um, I got one more thing. It was the Let It Shine, uh, Shoot, I didn't open this yet. Um, it was the Let It Shine new paper pad. Let me just find my... Sorry, guys. I try to open these ahead of time, but I guess I didn't realize I didn't do this one. So let me just... All right. I never like to look at the pads before I show them on screen anyway, so I usually do it right before the video, but I guess I just forgot this one. So let me just fold those back so the sticky is tucked away. All right, so this one is just some dots and stripes, but the um, some of the dots have gold foiling on them, which I'm sure you guys know if you've been watching me for a while that I'm not a huge fan of gold foiling just because I think it's hard to use. It makes for a more elegant card when I'm just more cutesy. But there's a lot of patterns in here that don't have it, and on the ones that it do, that do have it, it's so subtle um, that I think it'll be fine. It's just little tiny um, little spots. So you could tie that in by doing maybe a gold embossed sentiment. Um, and if there's any time that I'm going to like do those little extra shiny details, it's at Christmas time because Christmas is the time for gold and glitter and all that shiny stuff so anyway that's the paper pad it's got a really nice selection of colors and you've got the dots and stripes so really fun I'm really excited about this release I think they had a lot of really cool stuff this time um, I mean they always knock it out of the park but I just thought this release especially like I loved everything um, and I really had to pick and choose the stuff that I just thought I would get the most use out of um, and make my decision that way. So that is my haul. Um, again, like I said, I will have two videos for you on Friday, again using Lawn Fawn products from the brand new release. So stick around on that day and give those a watch if you've got the time. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. I also want to just make sure that you guys know that I am an affiliate with Lawn Fawn as well. So if you ever want to just help me out by using one of the links down below any of my Lawn Fawn videos from this year, 2020, um, you don't even have to purchase the product that is in the link. If you click the link before you go to to take you to the Lawn Fawn website, um, I will get a little kickback from your sale. So it just helps support my channels. Um, so if you ever want to do that, just feel free. And uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all that you guys do to just show me some support and your kindness with your comments. It just means the world to me. You wouldn't believe. There have been so many times when I just get discouraged because it's so much work. I mean, it's so much work for so little pay. Um, but, you know, every time I start to feel discouraged and think maybe I should choose a different career path, not that this is necessarily a career path, um, but anyway, every time I think maybe my time would be better spent doing other things, you know, you guys, somebody will leave me this super kind, amazing comment that just makes me want to keep sharing and keep creating and keep making content for you guys. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, it really, truly means the world, and that's not just... A blanket statement it, it comes straight from my heart so thank you so much I hope you all have an amazing day bye bye